All right, sorry I got cut off there. I said I would limit myself to 10 minutes, but I'm a liar. So um, let's just pick up where we left off. I'm under course policies on page three of your syllabus. And um, what I found, uh, what I've done is I've created a general questions discussion board on Facebook. And this is a place for you to go if you have any kinds of questions about the class, what the class entails, where I put what assignment, where what reading is posted, um, how I'm doing this or how you're doing that, any of these sort of general questions that you have to ask. Rather than emailing me, I would uh, ask that you post those here on the general questions discussion board. And um, that way other students can benefit from the answers that I give and also other students can chime in and help respond to questions or whatever. Um, right underneath general questions you'll see Facebook, Skype, Skype and office hours. And so because this is an online class and we really don't, I'm not, I'm not physically there in Richmond, the way that I'm going to do office hours is I'm not going to schedule any specifically so that you can show up in your pajamas or dirty hair and headband. Um, I'm just going to open up Facebook chat and Skype when I'm online looking through your discussion board posts and if you see me there you should feel free to start a Facebook chat or start a Skype chat with me um, to talk to me about anything if you want to talk about the course or the coursework some ideas that you're having in the course some some idea that you're having for the final project what you want to write about this weekend on your three to three to five hundred word response any of those things or if you just need an ally to sort of talk about gender or sex or sexuality um, there are lots of amazing women and gender professors and women and gender allies uh, on Eastern Kentucky's campus, but if you haven't yet found one and you need one, then I can be that person for you as well. And so the way that I suggest that we do this is just, you know, wander up on Facebook or Skype and see if you find me there, or if you'd like to arrange a very specific time with me to meet on Skype or on Facebook chat, then email me, use Facebook message if you want to email me, or uh, leave a message on my Facebook wall, and we can meet at a very specific time and have a more formal discussion about your grade or your performance in the course or my expectations of you or whatever. You can find my Facebook and my Skype addresses at the very top of this document. I'm not going to go over late work, grading, academic honesty, but I do want to go over attendance, which is on page, uh, I think, four of your document, of your syllabus. Uh, the way that I'm going to operate attendance is I want you to spend about an hour or so, at least four days a week, on our Facebook wall. Uh, or on our Facebook group wall, on the events wall, on the discussion wall, sort of just uh, spending time looking at other pe people's posts, see what they're saying, responding to their posts, just getting a general idea of what the banter is, what is the chatter, what's the conversation that's going on in the class. And um, what I'll do is I'll take attendance on every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, just to sort of see who's on there and what kind of comments that you're making. And this will basically um, form your attendance or your engagement grade in this class. Now, as I've mentioned before, you're only required to make one post per um, discussion board. So two posts a week and then the three to 500 word more significant event post at the end of the week. Um, but you should feel free to sort of upload content or post links or post videos or uh, post us to different websites or news articles that you find. You should feel free to do that anytime if you feel that it's gonna really take us to the next level with our uh, conversation or get us outside of the textbook a little and show us how these things relate to the real world. So um, I'll take attendance, but it's not required that you do any more than just the two that I've asked you to do per week, although if you do more, that's, that's awesome because it'll just make our conversation more engaging and, and it'll just take us more outside of the text and put us more in the real world. Um, I'm going to scroll down now to the most important part and the part that I really wanted to get to in my first 10 minutes and that's the tentative schedule of readings and assignments and that starts on page 5 of your uh, syllabus. So the first thing that you'll see up there at the top is a, a big blurb that sort of tells you in, de in short everything that I've said so far about the way that the week is divided into two parts, about the three to 500 word assignments um, and things like that. So go ahead and scroll down until you can see the first part of this chart, and I like to use the chart because I think it's neater, I think it looks more organized, um, and so this is kind of the way that it's laid down. You'll see three different parts, three different columns to this chart and, chart, and then several rows all the way down, and so the left hand column is the week, and you'll see at the very top you've got 1.1 and 1.2. 1.1 or part 1 of week 1 is Monday and Tuesday. 1.2 or part 2 of week 1 is Wednesday and Thursday and that's very clearly laid out for you in the leftmost column. If you scroll down just a little bit more you'll see a big 1 and then the word Friday and that's the day that um, you should start thinking about your 
event or that three to five hundred or two to four minute um, response that you give, the more formal academic response toward the end of the week. But I'm focusing mostly right now on parts one and two of the first week. And so in that leftmost column, you'll see the, the dates. In the middle column, you'll see this week's reading and watching assignments. Um, that's where you're going to find all of your readings. I don't have any videos posted on this um, syllabus, but I will be posting videos for you to sort of keep up with on Facebook. Um, but in that middle column, you're going to see what the readings are required. Most of the readings that you're going to be doing this semester come from your textbook. However, if they're marked with an asterisk, I will be uploading them to Facebook or linking you to Facebook or sending them to you via Blackboard so that you'll get them through your EKU email. I'll post a little blurb on Facebook or a little a little post to our wall so that you can get it if um, if I if I link you to something or if I send you an email that's not on Facebook so that you'll be fully aware of where the reading assignment is for that week. Um, and then finally in the third column you'll see response assignments. Um, parts one of two of each week you know that your response is just to, to participate in the chatter on the discussion board wall but if you'll scroll down you'll see that um, on the Friday or at the end of each week that you have the more formal discussion response um, and I've just given you a little reminder of that. So if you just continue to scroll down, you'll see week two is divided into two parts. And then at the end of the week two, there's the more formal event. Um, and then week three is divided into two parts. There's the readings in the middle and then the assignments on the right hand side. And that's the way the entire syllabus is laid out. And I hope that makes sense to you. If it doesn't, you can feel free to email me. Um, but it's basically divided up into dates, readings, assignments. Uh, and that's how our entire six weeks will go. And if you'll go down to the very, very end, page eight, you'll see that at the very last week, week six, it's still divided into two parts. So on Monday and Tuesday, we'll have reading and Facebook chatter like normal. And by then you'll be an old pro at it. Um, but on the second part of, part of the week six, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of our final week, I'm not gonna give you any readings for that week. I'm just going to let you have a little bit of time to put the finishing touches on your um, final project. Uh, and again, I'll post the details of that no later than week two of the semester. So I think that covers everything in my syllabus. Again, don't just uh, listen to this lecture, but also read through the entire syllabus at least twice so that you're, you're, you understand exactly what I'm asking you to do and so that you understand exactly what I'm going to be doing throughout the semester. It's imperative that you understand the way that we're going to be using Facebook, that you understand the distinction between discussions and events because that's going to make a big difference as to whether or not I'm getting your attendance or grading your final, uh, your, your end of the week responses. And then it's also imperative that you're able to contact me. And the best ways to do that, of course, is through email, Facebook chat, and through Skype. So um, I'll finish by saying that this is an experiment. I've never taught a class on Facebook. But like I began this by saying, it's a little bit more personal, I think. And it, it offers us a, a unique opportunity to kind of get to know the members of our class in the same way that we would if we were sitting inside of a class. And so um, as we go through the semester, if you have suggestions for me or if something's weird or difficult to understand or if it's not quite working, please feel free to send me an email because you guys are the ones I'm testing this out on. So help me out here. Let me know what's going well and what's not going well, if you're having a good time or, or if it's uh, a more confusing than it's worth and so that I can change it so that we can have a really productive semester. So I look forward to working with all of you. Um, email me or get online on Facebook. You should join the Facebook group pretty quickly because I'm going to start taking attendance around Tuesday. Um, so we'll see what happens. Good luck and I'll, I'll talk to you soon.